one of the most coveted offensive linemen in the 2024 class. In Aia, Waipahu, Hawaii, top 247, offensive tackle, Preston Ta'amua will choose between Alabama, Arizona, Auburn, Nebraska, and Oregon. 24-7 sports tabs, Ta'amua is the nation's number 11 interior offensive lineman and number 207 prospect overall. As you hit the like button and subscribe to this video, let's head out to the Aloha State and bring in four-star offensive lineman, Preston Ta'amua. What's up? Preston, congrats. Thank you, thank you. Who do you have sitting up there with you, behind you? I got my boys right now. Uh, the far left, that's uh, Titan. Uh, you got Jaden Chanel, Elijah Nofi, and you got my wow. So those are my boys right now. Decided to wake up early in the morning. Awesome. Well, congrats to you. You narrowed it down to five programs. What were you looking for in a college football team in school? Um, ultimately, I was really looking at the, I say, the support system between the staff and the student body, and um, and how coaches get along, get along with each other. And I'd say, she would probably broke down between three schools. That would probably be Aub or not Auburn, uh, Arizona, Nebraska, and Oregon. And those 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 schools I seem to get along well with, and I I could see myself playing for those three schools. Well, you said it came down to Arizona, Nebraska, and Oregon, but you can only go play football for one. The floor is yours to let everybody know where you'll be going on the next level. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank God. You know, He paved the way for my path, and um, I'd say the next. Three to four years, I will be committing to the University of Nebraska. Wow. Let's go! Yes, sir. Another no. big recruiting win for Matt Rule and the Nebraska Cornhuskers. You add to a class that moves up one spot in the 24-7 sports recruiting standings. The Huskers up to number 18, passing Wisconsin in the process. You're the fifth offensive lineman in the fold for Coach Rule and company. What was it about Nebraska that made them the place for you? It was just Coach Raul. He basically knows how we live out here. And, you know, you, you see that he coached in the NFL. Along with Coach Perry, he coached the NFL. So there's a lot of a lot of hard decisions. So I, I, just, I just see myself with Coach Raul and the way he, he teaches his, his – uh, basically how he runs his football practices and OTAs and stuff. I really, I really like that, and I can see myself fitting in that in that spot very well. Yeah, you felt very comfortable with offensive line coach Hawaii native coach Donovan Rayola. What is it about Matt Rule? Why do you think he's going to get Nebraska ripping and roaring there in Lincoln? Down to earth guy, I love him. He 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 treated me like family. I was part of the team when I was there, so that's why I liked him. But I think I think he really has a chance to turn around Nebraska to to see what he did with Baylor is really. It's really crazy. So I, I think I can be a part of that class to switch Nebraska, flip it. Preston, you took your official visit. You started with Arizona the first weekend of June. You got a chance to go to Auburn in the middle of the month. Then you quickly went from the Plains to Nebraska and then wrapped up at Oregon three visits within a week. When did you know you were going to be uh, headed to Nebraska? When did they kind of take control of your recruitment? Nebraska, to be honest, I, I I didn't really know. It was actually when I seen Blair. I was with Blair, uh, I'd say the morning before I made my decision. It was like July 1st. So I was I was really thinking about it, and I really thought Nebraska would be the place. I always thought it was Oregon, but Oregon, they they got a lot of guys. So I was just, Nebraska is probably the best place for me because I've been part of a rebuilding program my whole life. So I think that would be the best place for me. Well, Preston, congrats again to you. Thanks for joining us on the 24-7 Sports Channel. We're going to bring in Blair Angulo, 24-7 Sports National Analyst and co-host of the 24-7 Sports Recruiting Show, to break this recruitment down. Blair, what is Nebraska getting in Preston Ta'amua? 
They are getting the number one player in the state of Hawaii for this 2024 class. And Steve, a player that a lot of people have told me is still scratching the surface of his potential. He doesn't really understand yet uh, blocking techniques and, and, and assignments and all that. Once he's able to figure that out, uh, he's going to be able to take his game to the next level because he's got that sort of raw ability. I had a coach tell me that he's the closest thing that he has seen to Panay Sewell in this 2024 class when it comes to the offensive line. So Nebraska getting a probably a, a cornerstone, a building block along the off offensive line and what they want to do in the trenches to turn that program around. Preston Taumua gives them that sort of weapon. Blair, one of the jewels of this Nebraska recruiting class right now, alongside guys like Carter Nelson, Roger Gradney, and this is a really good receiver group headlined by Davon Hall and Ja'Cory Barney, who they beat Miami on. Quarterback Daniel Kalen, they flipped from Missouri. You and I got a chance to see him perform well at the Elite 11 Finals. From your perspective, what have you seen from Matt Rule and his time here at Nebraska that's allowed him to go out and have so much success on the recruiting trail? I think he's done a tremendous job of building buzz uh, about the program and about the fan base. I, I think recruits like Preston Talmua go out to Lincoln and I think they see the impact that Matt Rule is having. They are able to see that this program is turning things around. Uh, you mentioned it with him when he was on earlier, right? He went to Auburn, he went to Nebraska, and he went to Oregon all within a span of seven days. Uh, and it could have been easy for him to be road weary or to be tired or not to be really involved. But when he was out in Lincoln, I think he caught the the atmosphere, he caught the buzz, and he caught some of that momentum that Matt Rule is doing. So I, I think he's doing a tremendous job of of selling the program, selling the vision without having coached one single game yet for the Huskers. I think he's done a terrific job of being able to land the type of prospects that he's landing. Well, he is the fifth offensive line commit for Nebraska this cycle. Coach Rayola and company landed Gibson Pyle uh, back in April. He was recently selected to play in the All-America Bowl after a strong showing at the FBU Top Gun Camp. They have Ashton Murphy committed from local Omaha. Nebraska landed Davidson. They pulled out of the state of Colorado, Blair, a prospect you're familiar with. And then Jake Peters from Cedar Falls, Iowa, also in the fold for them, but they would like to land one more Blair top two, four, seven offensive tackle. Grant Bricks is one of their top targets moving forward. They're in a slobber knocker on the trail for him alongside the likes of Oklahoma, Kansas state, among others. Amari Sanders is a corner from South Florida that Nebraska is trending for on the crystal ball as well. Blair, is there anything else that people should know about Preston Ta'amua and his potential to maybe play early and help Nebraska get it ripping and roaring sooner rather than later? Yeah, there's one thing that I think is going to help him, and that's because right now he's dealing with a leg recovery, right? He's been injured, so it doesn't seem like he's going to be able to play for a few weeks. Uh, I think he wants to return towards the end of his senior year. So when you think about mileage, when you think about the wear and tear on, on a body, especially up front along the offensive line, they're going to get a player that's going to be pretty fresh once he gets to Lincoln. He's not going to have uh, all those reps. You know, this is a player who I think could have been the guy to potentially punch his ticket for the Under Armour All-America game uh, at the camp in Maui when I saw him on July 1st. He's been injured, hasn't been able to participate. So I think that's one key component that could really help the Huskers as he, I think, focuses on his rehab and focuses on getting better physically and mentally so that when he does get to Nebraska, he's, uh, he's fully prepared. And I think that's uh, certainly a big thing for Matt Rule. Blair, was he kind of talking through his decision with Oregon and Nebraska with you at that camp on July 1st? He name dropped you there as he was kind of figuring out what his college future was going to be. He was wrestling with it, Steve. It was a very difficult decision. I had my crystal ball prediction on Oregon for a very, very long time. A league Terry, the new offensive line coach, actually was the first coach to offer Preston Taumua when he was at Hawaii. Um, and this is, uh, uh, you know, a, a, I think a, a school, uh, a program that, you know, really, I think, made things difficult for him. Um, it, it was a dream school growing up. Uh, we mentioned Penesel earlier. That's, that's, a, that's a, a prospect and a former player at Oregon that 
Preston Talmoa really uh, looked up to, and I think one that he models his game after. So, you know, the fact that uh, Nebraska went in, came from behind really, and, and won out in this recruitment is a bit of a surprise because, yeah, speaking through through things with Preston, he was definitely wrestling with it, and uh, the Cornhuskers emerged on top. They did indeed. And for more coverage of Preston Talmoa's commitment to Nebraska, Head over to Huskers 247. That's www.nebraska.247sports.com. And for Blair Angulo, I'm Steve Wiltfong. Thanks for tuning in to the 247 Sports YouTube channel to watch another one of the nation's best prospects announce their college decision.